now we are going to look into the fully continuous case so under the fully continuous case the premiums is also determined under the equivalent principles where we have the APV actual presence value of the benefit to be paid will be equals to actual present value of the premium to be paid so what will be the notations that is important for this chapter we have p bar a bar x this one is equals to a bar x over a bar x what does this mean this means that the insurance will be paid whole life at the moment of the death that will be the coverage of the insurance and then the premium also will be collected for whole life at the every moment so this premium notation is pi a bar x which is also equal to the pi that we determined in the previous uh, video okay so whenever we put this notation it means that a bar x over a bar x but usually we seldom use this we only use any notations like pi you can put p you can put any any symbol it doesn't really matter okay and then for the next one is okay p bar a bar x and one this means that the insurance that will be paid the coverage of the insurance all the coverage of the insurance is in the bracket okay for this case the coverage of the insurance will be a bar x and one which is the term insurance and the premium that will be collected is a bar x and okay if it is a case of pure endowment same thing you are going to get pure endowment over them okay. if it is for the case of endowment let's look at the case of endowment if it is endowment you are going to get p bar a bar x n equals to a bar x n over a bar x n and if you were to look into m payment year for whole life insurance then you are going to have m p bar a bar x which is equals to a bar x over a bar x m same goes to m p year m payment year for term insurance if it is term insurance then the inside sale is gonna be term insurance this whole thing is the premium which is equals to a bar x n term over a bar x n term x m yeah because it is m year payment If it is a mere pure endowment, you are going to get M P bar or N mere endowment. Same things, yeah. It's just that you have to change whatever that is inside here. So if like this, it will be endowment. If we have here, it will be pure endowment. If it is pure endowment, then this is. Oh. If pure endowment, sorry, for the case of pure endowment, you did have the bar. So you are going to get a x n over a bar x n. If it is endowment, 
it will be this one plus this one so for this case we are going to get mp a bar x n for this it will be equals to a bar x n over a bar x m so if you just go for this one this will be equals to this plus this which is a bar x n term plus a x n pure over a bar x m which we can say that this equals to m p a x n term plus m p a x n pure it works the same way if the payment is not m years if it is n years let's say we have p bar a bar x n this one means that the amount of the years uh, of the benefit coverage is the same as the premium collected so you are going to get a bar x n over a bar x n which is also equals to p bar a bar x n term plus p bar a bar x n pure endowment okay that's it for the discrete case thank you uh, continuous case sorry thank you